Well, talking to Jane Scrivener, who is the founder and the very much hands-on uh, person at uh, at your own company, mm -hmm. uh, you you maintain. I, mean, I would think it'd be very easy to rest on your laurels and go off and do other things now that you've be become so successful. I well, I don't think it would be for me because I think I am quite by nature nosy and want to get involved, if not maybe disrupt. So it's one of those things. If something's if something's not the way I want it, and I am having to learn compromise as the business grows, which I'm not liking Thank at all. Thank heavens. <laughs> But it, no, I still think I'd absolutely, and if I wasn't doing this, I'd be formulating essential oils for perfume so that it would okay. smell beautiful. Now we have established that you are a bit obsessed with oil. So we're going to talk about the intense oil now. Uh, okay. we, we've already spoken about the elixir. So what's the intense oil for? Okay, my intense oil was formulated, uh, uh, formulated is the wrong word because it's a single ingredient. It is 100% raw, cold pressed, rosehip, rosa moschetta oil. Mm -hmm. This is an anti-aging oil. And I came across this oil when I traveled to South America and Chile. And it's one of the, my most favorite places in the world. If I were to move somewhere, not the UK, I would move there. It's absolutely beautiful. And rosehip is everywhere. It's on the, the hedgerows, it's in the gardens. They use it for Do everything. Do you smell it everywhere? It doesn't have a fragrance. Doesn't and it? in fact, when you actually smell it, you'll mm -hmm. see that it's, it has um, it has a non-fragrance fragrance, okay. if you like. Well, that's just as well to know. It's a really, really thick oil. It's bright orange, but don't let that don't make don't don't have that think that it's false or anything like that. It's mm. absolutely if you think a of the rose colour. hip, it's a bright orange and we've got the first cold pressing of this oil. And the South American ladies, they will use this um, on their skin, they'll use it in their hair, they'll put it in ears if you've got infections. And what they've also done is that oh, the I can see what you mean about yes, the colour. Really, really bright orange. Mm -hmm. They've done research at the University of Santiago for post scarring, mm -hmm. post operative scarring for fine lines and wrinkles. And what you need to do with this one, if you get the fragrance, it's it's not, not I took talk about it being like burnt sugar. Mm. So there is a smell, but we don't put any essential oils in there because it's also absolutely beautiful for if you've got photo damage, so sun damage. Yes. So I don't want an essential oil in there that might irritate skin that's been sunburnt. Mm -hmm. If you put this on to a light sunburn, um, you will see that helps to really repair and feed the skin and get that better because you have done, I think it's first degree burns if you've got sunburn. So, you, it's, that, yes. sunburn? so it's, it's it, you shouldn't be in the sun, but if you are, this is a great repair. But on a day day-to-day -day basis I would use this as my anti-aging night oil okay. so I will so use would, I, would I cleanse with the with the balm absolutely yes learning very well mm -hmm. so we would cleanse with the balm in the morning and then I would use the daily moisturizer during the day and then I put mm. my makeup on and then I would use this in the evening as my night oil why is it important to use something different at, at night time it's, I like to mix it up a bit. You could use that, this in the morning, you could use the elixir in the evening. For my personal style, I would like to use the elixir, but I have plenty of clients who will use this as their moisturizer. Any natural oil has an NMF, which we call a natural moisturizing factor, not very mm -hmm. scientific. It sort of does what it says. And that will moisturize the skin and feed it with the essential fatty acids that the skin needs. So that's the way I would use it because people like to have a routine that they can follow. So I would say this is a night oil just because it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit more viscous and it has that fragrance and you might not want that. You might want that to sleep on that overnight and it disappears. And, and is it true that at night time your skin does most of its repairing? I, I'm not sure about that one and I might, you know, there's lots of people would argue the difference with me. What I do know is that at night your skin isn't subject to all the environmental hits that it gets so it's not due to the traffic or the air or the sweating or the environment you've usually cleansed your skin and it gets to do its own thing even though you do tend to sweat during the night that's pretty much allows the skin to just seep in for a good amount hopefully seven or eight hours and do its work and then you can get on with your day the so next I day. So I get up the next morning will I will I notice a difference? I would say even after a first application of intense oil you will see a difference even I get clients calling me say oh my goodness I used that last night and I can't believe it and I'm sort of thinking well I really think it works, but for somebody else to come and say they can see a difference after one application, yes. Now, we, we're talking about products that you make as natural as absolutely possible. Yes. Does that affect the shelf life? Um, lots of the oils 
in their own right have their natural shelf life. I like to whichever shelf life anything has, and if it has essential oils, it's going to last a lot longer because they're natural preservatives, nature's preservatives, if you like. Um, I still like to, what I call pour fresh, even though we buy ingredients in bulk and they're kept in certain containers in a dark and cooled room, as soon as I pour, I like to treat them as food. So I would like, we have a big label, so we're trying to hide as much as possible of the light getting into the product, and we do have them in boxes. But I would say you've got definitely two years worth there, but I still think of them as skin food. Mm -hmm. And I don't want any of my food hanging around for two years. I want to, if you're using that properly, you've got three or four months use. And that's when I think it's its richest and its best. Do you know, I can feel my skin being thirsty for these oils. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of I, I, want to get, I want to get them home and I want to, to really try them out. If you feel the same, you can do that very, very easily. It's just a few clicks of the mouse on salonskincare.com and you can have this intense oil and it's got, it's got the Rosa Moscata yes. in it. You've got 30 mils and it's 25 pounds, including your postage and packaging. And if you, if you do look at the marketplace and you look at different oils, this is a really, really keen price for a really great oil.